for a little more perspective on this story, we now turn to Joe Brown, president of the Pasadena branch of the NAACP, which helped organize Saturday's meeting. Thanks for being here, Joe. Thank you very much. So wh why do you think the outbursts in the room? Is it the economy, lack of work? What, what do you think it is? Why was it so heated? Well, any any time there's a lack of employment opportunities and one group feels that they've been disenfranchised, certainly tensions begin to rise. That was expected when we were able to co-host this event with the RBOC because all over the city, persons didn't know where they should go to seek employment, much less what type of employment was going to be provided. And so as a part of uh, the informational meeting that we wanted to uh, host, and we're so thankful that over 100 persons uh, were in attendance, we wanted to first of all deal with, uh, to have a good explanation about the project. I think our city officials did a marvelous job in expressing that. Where we kind of got a little bogged down is the program and its implementation. It is true that uh, some things are not certain, even to uh, some of our council persons, notwithstanding how many uh, times can you go back to encourage the various elected officials to put a little more teeth into this first source hiring. Do you think this uh, <coughs> program does enough to help the African American uh, community get jobs through this program? Well, I don't want to speak primarily for African Americans. In it, this, the uh, whole program was for local hires. Uh, truly, um, we've seen a disenfranchisement of one ethnic group over the other. But what that ethnic breakdown has been, data has not been, a, been made available to us. As we move forward, however, we know that uh, that information will be able to give us the additional resources we'll need to look at ethnicity, age, categories, etc. Okay. Um, well, we definitely, I, I know that this was a very heated meeting, and but very important, so uh, we appreciate you being involved with that. Um, we wanted to switch gears now into <coughs> something that um, we will address a little bit later in the show. The NAACP is one of the sponsors of an upcoming citywide election forum at Cleveland Elementary next week that CCN and the Star News is also sponsoring. So what, what type of collaboration between the Star News, the Northwest community, and so many other organizations, what does this do for the city? Well, we all, all, all have various strong allied partners, now, withstanding Crown City News, who's going to participate uh, and uh, co-host in this event. Our number one objective is to kind of have a format that's going to be quite different than uh, most of the uh, formats. It'll be more debate-oriented. Debate we uh, are, well, everyone all over the city is pretty much aware of uh, scripted answers. And once uh, candidates have an opportunity to engage dialogue with the candidate to seek in that office, we believe that the residents in the city will have a little more insight who they should vote for. Okay. Now, I know uh, one of the, um, <coughs> the, the districts that's up for election, District 1, with incumbent Jackie Robinson, and then uh, there's, she's also uh, being, uh, uh, James Smith is also running against her. Sure. Um, <coughs> now, they're two African Americans. It's an African American area, but there's a growing Latino population. Sure. Do you think that um, race is a factor in this election for that one in particular? <sighs> I think gender is. I can't say race because uh, both of them are the same ethnicity. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really a matter of who's qualified and who is uh, not qualified to okay. take it to the next level. And do African Americans feel like they're being heard in this as I know that they're also courting the Latino vote? Uh, yes, I think all ethnic groups feel that they're being heard by both of the candidates. Okay, well that's good to hear. Well thank you so much for being here sure. and we'll definitely hear from you more after the forum. Thank you. Okay, well um, We'll be talking more about the forum and with Pasadena Star News editor Frank Gerardo in our upcoming on-camera segment. An Altadena teen is killed and we ask you to weigh in on the Egyptian protests. Also, CCN meteorologist Curtis Peake will let us know if we should bring the raincoats out for, from the closet. That's next on CCN Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood. We'll be right back. 